What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, a couple weeks ago, actually a few weeks ago, I told you I'm going to try this supplement called Dry from Cutler Nutrition. Now, I know product reviews get a lot of hate, but I did promise I'd try and I did. I went through a whole entire bottle. See? Now, here's the deal with Dry. It's, um, I thought when I first heard the name, I thought it was some sort of a, a diuretic. I thought it was like a pre-stage diuretic, when in fact, it's not. It's an androgenic slash estrogenic modulator, meaning that like core hard, like, um, here, here's where I, I've always been kind of a big fan of this category. I, uh, when I worked, this is a sub-brand of Cyvation back in the day. It's called PGM, this is called Estercort. I absolutely love this product. I gave it to males. This is marketed to females it's under a PGN, Factor on Nutrition. Fat with a PH, see what I'm saying? Um, what this had in it was phosphatidyl serine. Again, this is an unopened bottle. I don't know how old this is. It expires in, fuck, uh, six of 13. Wow, it's a little overdue. <coughs> Check it out, phosphatidyl serine had 500 milligrams, had 500 milligrams of green tea extract, 250 milligrams of diendolmethane, and 200 milligrams of calcium diglucrate. And I literally saw women take this, and with the anti-stress, anti-cortisol action of the, um, of the phosphatidylserine, along with the green tea, which helps with relaxation, all that good stuff, helps with stress hormones, along with the calcium diglucrate, which has good antiestrogen properties, diendolmethane, you were seeing men and women, I had men taking this pre-contest, huge market for it, even though it was PGN, a female supplements line, and uh, a lot of figure and physique and bikini girls swore by it, and so now you see a whole new crop of products coming out that do what I originally aimed to do with Estercore, which I think we did a good job. I would love to come out with something similar in the future, but honestly, I, I got enough shit going on right now. Um, to be honest with you, I took dry, and I'm gonna be real here. I'm contest prep. You know, there's a lot of supplements flowing through my body. I'm not gonna say unequivocally that it did anything. All I'm gonna say is that I was drier, I was grainy, I was veiny, and you guys have seen in my videos. However, I'm contest prep, I'm dieting, and I'm gonna get more and more shredded, veiny, and grainy as the diet goes on. So for me, I believe it might have helped. Again, I'm not gonna bullshit you, not gonna say it added 12 inches to my penis. I'm not gonna say it made my butt rounder. I'm not gonna say it made this fade cleaner. Look how clean that shit is. Not gonna say it trimmed up my beard. What I am gonna say is that it's promising. So when I was taking this, I actually went around and I asked people, I also gave a couple bottles to a couple other people. And I had a couple people who actually had to increase their fat intake because their joints were hurting, because it was making them dry. So it was drying them out, whether it's from the anti-estrogen, anti-cortisol effects, I don't know. But unlike my old product, Estercort, this does claim to have androgenic properties, which means that it can help you build lean mass per their claims. Am I saying it does that? I don't know about the ingredients, enough about them to really, um, to, to really make any unequivocal claims about it. I will say that based on the data I've seen, which is very minimal, and based on the feedback I have heard it might be worth trying if you're cutting, if you're in the latter stages of a cut for a contest, or if you're just, uh, if you're in that, that lean phase, you know, you're like 8%, you wanna get to six. I believe this can be a good addition to your, um, your diet and training program. I would stack it with a fat burner. I always like to do that. I always used to stack this with my old fat burner, my old company. Um, you know I love to stack it. I'd stack this with Drop Factor any day of the week. I think that'd be a hell of a combo if you stack these two together. Um, because, you know, Drop Factor, I believe it works really well. And if this does work, it helps dry you out and also modulates. When you diet, a lot of things go weird with hormones. If this does indeed modulate your hormones, your estrogen, your cortisol, and also provides a little androgenic boost, then you're going to go as far as being legal in um, natural federations. I, these ingredients are not banned in the ANBF. As for your organization, that's something you're going to have to contact the people in charge of that shit to let them know and ask them if it's legal. But that's my review. I know it's going to get dislikes because every time I say shit about a product, I'm trying to sell something. This is my honest review, honest feedback. I believe it might be worth using, and if you are cutting, I believe it might be worth stacking with a fat burner, but I have nothing bad to say about it because while I was on it, I will say, and I'm still taking it, I have another bottle, I will say that I was dry and I was veiny. Whether that has anything to do with the supplement, I don't know. Um, as for the recommended dose, just take one cap a day. It's pretty easy to shake a capsule in the morning, call it a day. And also, it, it claims to increase libido, and if you're contest prep, you know damn well the only, one, the only thing you want to fuck is a fucking steak. I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Cause being so dry, your cock gets hard. That's not a game.